I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. Way ahead of you on that one, Axel. Whoa! Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? <laughs> Looks a little, uh, sophisticated for you, Jesse. Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Shut up, you idiot. Ugh, what grief are you here to give us now? Look who's talking. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Or he's a whiny dingus. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing. And we ain't giving it up. Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? Go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too. So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it. From you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, they scared easy, didn't they? Not easy enough for my taste. We should be careful. He seems different. Scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! Stone is back in town.
to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool looking. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So I suppose we're even. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure- Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <laughs> It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... They've got... Community planning. Blech! Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Ah, it's a slippery slope, Jesse. Today, the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? We just got back from that temple you told us about. The one in the jungle? What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Beat me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no. I'm all out. <sighs> okay. We better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Right, what he said. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> Okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. 
It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Aiden's a stupid bully. He doesn't scare me. Yeah, that's what I used to say too. But he's been freaking me out lately. He got super aggressive. He demanded to know what treasure you were after next. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Oh! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow. That enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Right? Wow, so that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple... That means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Wait, like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes. Luckily, you already know the way. He does have a point. Old builders, Eversources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, you can't argue that when it comes to all this ancient history and treasure, Ivor knows a lot. Sure, that's true. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> 